First, let's see how a cookie stores information. Let's look at cookies stored by Chrome browser. To the left, is the site for which the information is stored. The site at this.com has stored 9 cookies in the browser. BB is the name of one such cookie. This is a cookie from them office site. This cookie from MathWorks got in it named UT them a. You can see the content in it. A set of numbers. Similarly, this is the content stored in cookie named UTMZ. Now, let's look at how sniffers get information. Wireshark is a tool that can capture all packets on a network that it can access. Wireshark displays the source, destination, the protocol used and the info in every packet. Let's look at information in this application data packet. This is the information in ASCII format. In a broadcast network, every message is broadcasted to the whole network thereby allowing anyone in the network to sniff those packets. Now, let's look at an example of how the data obtained can be used. One such tool is Tamper Data, a plug-in for Firefox. Let's start Tamper Data, and type something in Google search. This window shows the request passed by the browser. Do know the cookie part of it. The cookie information can be fudged. Of course, fudging won't make a difference here. Observe that the search returned the result for 8. Since we did not allow the browser to complete sending its request for ASDF. So, what do we do to keep a user safe from such snipping? The data can be forced to be encrypted by SSL thereby rendering the obtained information useless to the sniffer. SSL can be forced in WordPress by updating the config file wp-config.php. By adding define force SSL login, true all login sessions are forcibly through SSL. Similarly, Force SSL Admin ensures all admin sessions are through SSL. In addition to this, we could do something when a cookie is set. The function used to set a cookie in PHP is called set cookie. Let's see how this works. There are two parameters, secure and HTTP only, which are false by default. When the secure parameter is set to true, cookie will be set over secure connection only. When the HTTP only parameter is true, it ensures cookie access only through HTTP protocol, thereby safeguarding from JavaScripts. Let's now look at how to set these parameters. We need to search where the setCookie function is used in WordPress. So, let's scan the WordPress PHPs for setCookie. Here, we see that wp-login.php uses the setCookie function. Let's look at it. Searching for an instance of setCookie, we see that this instance does not set the two parameters. So, we have to manually add the two parameters, that is, true and true. This must be done for all the instances of set cookie, not only for wp-login.php, but for every instance in the WordPress code. We must try to minimize risks caused by stealing of cookies. We can use the Mac dependent cookies plugin which makes the WordPress cookie Mac specific. Now, how does it do this? Let's check out the code.
it first retrieves the ARP packet either from the forwarded address or the remote address. After splitting the packet, the code traverses through the packet till the IP is found. The very next thing is the MAC address. It then retrieves this and concatenates it with the salting string. Salting is a means of adding a string to the existing content in order to encode the content. This plugin also gives the administrator the option of choosing either the forwarded address or the remote address for salting 